uh, well, we you know had another tough loss at Ball State, playing an FBS opponent. Uh, it was good to see our kids respond to what we were working on the entire week last week, which was to play extremely hard from start to finish. Uh, we didn't play perfect, but we played hard and we competed and we ran to the ball. We created turnovers for the first time, uh, getting three. We turned the ball over again twice, but we did win the turnover margin. So uh, we got to improve on, on really securing the ball and taking care of the ball. And then, uh, you know, scored touchdowns in the red zone or at least getting attempts at field goals. Right now, you know, we're not even getting attempts on field goals. We turned it over three times two weeks ago, and then we were uh, one or four again this week in the red zone. So if we just go 50% the last two weeks in the red zone, uh, you know, things might be a little bit different right now. But I like the mindset of our team. Uh, I love the, their grind right now. They've started their game prep. There was about 40 kids up in the office last night. Uh, you know, they're competing against each other to see who can who, who can grind harder uh, as far as film study and, and studying their opponents. So uh, our guys are hungry. Uh, they had a great practice this morning. And uh, I look forward to seeing them this afternoon, come back in and, and getting back to work after classes and then, you know, putting that on the field tomorrow. Questions from the media. Uh, we talked a little bit on the phone about some of the things we're looking for out of Eastern Kentucky, like their passing attack. But what are some of the other things you're looking for? Uh, well, one, I really, really, really respect Coach Elder and their staff. And, uh, you know, we had a tough game here last year, last season. We won in overtime 33-30. to 30. And uh, I didn't really know them that well. After that game, we started, you know, talking and then corresponding. And, you know, I think we're very similar in our makeup as far as the discipline, the physicality, uh, what our standards are. Uh, you know, I think we're mirror images. I love their team last year. They were very, they competed, but they were very respectful. They weren't a bunch of, you know, just renegades out there, you know, talking trash all the time. It's like they were doing what they were supposed to do. They were competing and getting back and lining up and playing. I really, that stuck out to me and I really respected that. And uh, so we're in for a fight. I'm sure they've had, you know, they looked at it probably like there's no way they should have lost us last year. And they probably had this game circled for a long time, uh, you know, and. We're looking forward to it as well. We know it's going to be ultra competitive. We know it's going to be hard. We told our guys this morning in the team meeting, it's just, this is adult football. So it's not going to be you show up and it's an easy win. Like you're going to be down by 14. You might be up by seven. You'd never know. That's why, you know, just keep playing as hard as you can. Understand there's going to be adversity as soon as you step on that field and, and be ready for it and embrace it and get better because of it. And but we're looking for a really, really tough game. But that's why that's why we do what we do. And it's going to be fun. and. We love to compete against good guys like they are. And uh, just looking forward to, to working this week and seeing what we can do on Saturday. Got any, uh, you know, anything you can tell us about your plans to of attack, you know, like uh, on offense anyway? I'm not going to tell you anything <laughs> like that. No, nah, I mean, it's pretty easy. We're going to huddle up and we're going to run the football. And at least we've ran it for over 100 yards the last couple of weeks. So maybe we can run it for 100 yards again. Uh, it's going to be boring. It's and we're going to take our shots. And when we take our shots, are we going to catch it or not? I don't know. Are we going to protect it or not? I don't know. Uh, we're going to get in the red zone. Are we going to score a touchdown or not? I don't know. I know that's our emphasis. And if we don't, we're not going to win the game. But you know, our plan of attack never changes. And you know, nothing changes around here. And hopefully that consistency day in and day out and, and working a little bit harder and working a little bit better uh, leads to some success sooner rather than later. And then uh, talk about Andre a little bit. You know, another good week again last week. You know, didn't throw three picks, so that's that's positive. You know, talk about him and where he is in his progression. Uh, he, he got a little bit better. You know, he still had the two turnovers, but the one turnover was crazy. You know, it, it bang bang play. It, it, it's going to hit the ground. We're going to have a chance to go in and score before the half. And the kid that falls down, his leg pops up off the ground and hits the football like a hacky sack. It goes straight up, mm -hmm. like just unbelievable <laughs> interception. Uh, so he did a, a lot better job of you know taking care of the ball in the passing game. He got hit a couple times and didn't have the proper ball security, and the ball came out, and we could have lost those. So you know we're working right now relentlessly on him, just just ball security in the pocket, two hands on the ball, uh, and and that's why he's got to get better at. But his in and out of the huddle, his tempo was good. He called the plays correctly. He got people where they needed to be. Uh, he executed his run checks. Uh, so. You know, really pleased with him. He just got to, you know, the great thing about Andre is, is you can compliment him and he'll, he stays hungry and he keeps working. And he was in the office yesterday, probably five hours, just sitting in there, sitting in staff meetings, you know, learning the game plan, learning the points of attack, and just really proud of where he is right now. He's just got to keep getting a little bit better. I mean, I know, we know he's got the clear starting position, but I noticed uh, that Hayden Reddick's no longer on the. Uh, no, nope. Hayden, Hayden decided to uh, retire, and uh, Hayden's got a lot of stuff. 
he's going to be really, really successful. Like he, he could go, he'll, he'll be a, a millionaire probably in a year. Like really? he's, he's got connections. He's, uh, he's got great ideas. He's, he's already got in his mind, you know, he's got a, a thing in recruiting. He's getting ready to start up and he's going to be very, 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 very successful. But he decided, you know, he didn't win the job and, you know, he, he was a graduate transfer. And it probably was best for, for everybody, for him just to go start his life. And, and we supported him, and, and there's no hard feelings. And he's a great kid, great family. But yeah, he's he's no longer on the team with us. Uh, defensively, you know, uh, showed a big improvement this week. Yeah, yeah. I thought Coach Wright, you know, stepping in as uh, you know named him the defense coordinator last week. Uh, you know, he he he's a lot like me. Uh, the way that you know practice, the way he what he demands, and uh, you know has clear expectations. He, he's trying to keep it very simple. Not that we weren't simple before, but. You know, accountability and simplicity, where our kids can just play really fast. And uh, I saw that the other day. Uh, you know, he told them, "I don't care if you screw up, just, just run to the ball." We had, I think, three clips where we had 11 white jerseys on the ball carrier within a four by four box. There were 11 individuals. Uh, he created three turnovers. Uh, guys just running to the ball. So really pleased defensively. Our, our line of scrimmage, we were controlling the line of scrimmage. Gave up two big runs. I'd like to have back, but we can't get them back, so we have to learn from why we gave up those two big runs. Uh, but I'm, I'm really pleased, pleased with our defense. Now, total different monster coming at us this week. I mean, you got one wide out that's caught 17 balls, one wide out that's caught 14 balls, one wide out that's got three touchdowns. You know, the same two wide outs, 11 and nine, I think it is. Uh, but you know, very, very talented on the perimeter, and uh, they're going to try to exploit. Uh, you know, us in the secondary, and they did a nice job last year of isolating matchups and had 11 big plays on us, explosive plays. Uh, so we have to stay back, keep the ball in front of us, and rally And uh, because they can absolutely murder you. The way the quarterback's playing and uh, with those wideouts, man, they are, um, they are very talented. You mentioned Coach Wright getting the nod uh, last week. Uh, what's, what exactly is the situation with Coach Quinn? Uh, just, you know, there's certain things and you got to decide are you going to be a good football coach or are you going to be a good father? Are you going to be, a, you know, so he had some things that he needed to, to not fix or work on. He was fine and it wasn't like he was, in, he was in trouble or he's not sick or nobody's sick. He just, he needed to step away and prioritize some things. And uh, that's the type of guy he is. I mean, I knew as soon, that's why I hired him. He's a great, great man. And uh, so sometimes we have to make tough decisions and, and he had to make one. And so, you know, it was, we communicated after the Kennesaw State game, and so he's he's moving on to do some other things, and, and he'll be back in it next year, I'm sure. Uh, but you know, so he's on leave then, I'm guessing. Yeah, he's 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 not part of our program right now. Uh, Coach, do you uh, how much of uh, Andre's? Let me rephrase this. Do you believe Andre's kind of gotten over his freshman jitters and started to settle into his? Uh, role as a starting quarterback on his football team? Uh, yes and no. I think um, his conscious right now is he's good to go. But I think, you know, like any freshman at that position, there's always some tentativeness and apprehension, you know, during the game of, of pull, pulling the trigger, not on defense, as we say. But like he sees it. Now trust what you see and get rid of it, you know, or you see it, trust what you see and make the check. And so. He, is he ahead of the curve, ahead of any like redshirt freshman freshman I've ever had? A hundred percent. But you know he's he's got to just keep coming. I just you know, I, I don't want to I don't want him to get the big head right now. I'm going to stay on him pretty hard. But you know, he's he's got a ways to go, which means if he's throwing for 200 yards a game now, like if he's got a ways to go, he can be pretty good eventually. So you know we're really excited for him. We're 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 excited that he's playing at this level. So he's just got to keep working and and maintain his focus, which he will. And continue to get better, but I think you know there's always gonna be. I get jitters, you know. I've been doing this for 19 years. I get nervous before every single game. Common thread of the last season and this season is the teams we're facing are co coming off of a bye week. Do you see that as a sign of respect towards the, the Tech program, or is it just kind of they just, it's on? The, yeah, I think team? no. I think it's just it's what the how the schedule fell. You know, we don't we need to get that fixed to where not every team, or at least I think last year. Six of the eight games were a bye week before us. I mean, I, I don't know how, you know, from a from an edge standpoint, I don't know if that's equal for us or not. But uh, they're going to be fresh. They're going to be hungry. They've been 0 and 2 now for two weeks, and they played two quality opponents with Western Kentucky and Kentucky, and they played really well. So I'm sure they're licking their chops, getting Tennessee Tech 0 and 3. They beat, you know, we upset them last year, and they're at home for the first time. I bet they're ready to. 
to unleash the beast per se on us. So we've got to be poised, coiled up, and ready for that opening round and, and withstand that flourish and and settle in and play our ball from there. Following the game of Ball State, you, refer, you referred to it as the preseason being over. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, just there's no fresh starts in college football. I mean, you are what your record says you are. We're 0-3, you know, and it stinks, and we don't like it. But it's just something about starting conference play, and you get to look over in that column, and you're 0-0, and you get to write the, you know, you get to write the book from there on out. Like you get to learn from the adversity, you get to learn from the mistakes that have occurred uh, to this point. And if you don't learn, you're going to be 0-11. But if you've learned and gotten a little better, which I think our guys have, you got a chance to to have a good season. And you know everything that we want to do is still in front of us. Like we control, you know, everything. We don't have to rely on anybody. And that's one of the things in our process, control what you can control. We can control, you know, every game from here on out, but it's going to end up the same. We'll be over if we, if we don't practice at a high level and we don't play with physicality, we don't play with relentless energy and we don't have attention to detail. It, it's not going to work out for us, but if we continue to get better like we have and we did today, we have a chance to, you know, do some things in the league. Any other questions for Seth? Thank you, coach. Thank, Thank you, guys. You guys.